hi everyone welcome to park maths in this video i'm going to find the value of a plus b where a square plus b square is equal to 2009 now to find the value of a plus b first we will write solution and then we will write the question that is given the question is a square plus b square is equal to 2009 so here first of all we will factorize this right hand side so it will become a square plus b square is equal to we can write 2009 as 41 times 49 and the next step we will change this 49 to its exponential form so we can write 49 as a square plus b square is equal to this is the prime number it cannot be factorized 41 times it can be written as 7 square now in the next step i will try to eliminate this 7 square from the right hand side now to eliminate this 7 square from the right hand side i will try to make here in both the terms 7 square now to make here 7 square so here we will uh, make a position so let us suppose let a is equal to 7x and b is equal to 7y so here in this equation in the left hand side we will replace a with this value and b with 7y so this equation will become implies it will become 7x whole square plus it will become 7y whole square is equal to right hand side will be the same 41 times 7 square and here this square will be applied on the number and the variable so it will become 7 square times x square plus 7 square times y square is equal to 41 times 7 square now from the left hand side we will take 7 square common so it will become taking 7 square common so here x square is left plus here y square is left is equal to 41 times 7 square now there is 7 square on both sides so let us divide both sides by 7 square to eliminate 7 square from the right hand side so this 7 square and this 7 square will be cancelled and this 7 square and this 7 square will be cancelled so here only x square plus y square is equal to 41 is left now in the next step we can write this 41 as the sum of 60 and 25 so the sum of these two variables square is equal to we can write it as 16 plus 25 now in next step we will change these two numbers to its exponential form so it will become x square plus y square is equal to 16 can be written as power square plus and 25 can be written as 5 square now here the sum of these two variables is equal to the sum of these two squares so let us compare both sides so from both sides we can write x square is equal to power square and y square is equal to 5 square or x square is equal to 5 square and y square is equal to 4 square now from here from both the cases we will find the values of x and y now here we will take square root on both sides so we will get the value of x as taking square root on both sides so we will get x is equal to plus minus 4 also taking square root on this equation it will become y is equal to plus minus 5 now also taking square root here on both the equations so it will become 
x is equal to plus minus 5 and y is equal to plus minus 4. Now since we need to find the value of a plus b, so here we will add x and y and we will try to make a plus b here in the left hand side. So let us add x and y so it will become x plus y is equal to let us take uh, these values of x and y so it will become plus minus 4 and plus minus 5 and we will multiply 7 on both sides of this equation so it will become 7 times x plus y is equal to 7 times plus minus 4 plus minus 5 so next it will become 7x plus 7y is equal to plus minus 7 times 4 is 28 plus minus 7 times 5 is 35. Now we will do the remaining steps here. So our last equation is 7x plus 7y is equal to plus minus 28 plus minus 30. Now here we will come to our supposition that is a is equal to 7x and b is equal to 7y. So here we will replace this 7x and 7y with a and b. So it will become a plus b is equal to and from here we will take plus minus common. So it will become plus minus 28 plus 30. So further it will become a plus b is equal to plus minus 8 plus 5 is 13, 3, 1 will be carried, 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 1 is 6. So a, b is equal to plus minus 16 which are two values is one of the possible solution and value of this nice math problem and last don't forget to subscribe our youtube channel for such a more interesting and step by step math videos thank you so much for watching take care see you in the next video bye bye